Welcome, I'm Jennifer Ray, and in this series I aim to provide inspiring and empowering high-level health strategies. In particular, I pay attention to food and herbal medicine. In today's video, I'm going to focus on stress and a class of herbs called adaptogens that help us to mitigate the effects of stress on body and mind. discussion of health and healing is incomplete without discussion about stress and the effects of stress. By now we all know that stress affects the body and mind, creating imbalance. This is especially true if the stress is chronic and ongoing. So what exactly do we mean when we say stress leads to illness? Well, actually stress is a normal part of being alive. Our body has a very complex system that is designed to help us deal with the effects of stress, especially when we're encountering some sort of danger. So when we encounter a stressor, the body starts to produce more cortisol, more adrenaline. Uh, these are hormones that help us to deal with imminent threat. The body also temporarily increases blood pressure and uh, blood sugar. The problem is that for many people, this is no longer a temporary occurrence. Many people are living on hyperdrive and either leading themselves towards burning out the stress system in the body or they've already done so. Adaptogens are a class of herbal medicine that help to protect us from the effects of stress. They're known regulators. They support, nourish, and calm the body's stress responses. Adaptogens help us to adapt to a changing environment. They're also some of the safest and non-toxic herbs that we have, and they're especially good for long-term use. The first herb I'd like to tell you about is a herb called ashwagandha. Ashwagandha is a root that's used in a traditional Indian system of medicine called Ayurveda. Ashwagandha is a very soothing, tonic herb. So it's great for the immune system, it will give you a boost of energy, and it's also very calming. In particular, it's great for people who have an inflammatory response happening in the body, like arthritis. You don't necessarily want to use this herb if you're using higher grade uh, sedative or pharmaceutical painkillers. Um, you're also wanting to avoid this herb if you have a sensitivity to the nightshade family of plants. Lingzhi, or Ganoderma mushroom, or more commonly known Reishi mushroom, is a very powerful tonic and adaptogen herb within traditional Chinese medicine. So in Chinese medicine, Reishi is considered a very soothing and calming herb. Um, it in particular is classified under the spirit calming herbs. So it calms what's called the heart qi, especially when there's insomnia or forgetfulness due to a kind of depletion in the body. Lingzhi is also really helpful if there's any shortness of breath or coughing and wheezing. Um, this is because it also tonifies what's called the lung qi. The breath itself is also a powerful ally when working with stress. Develop a habit of pausing when you're under stress and noticing how you're breathing. Chances are you're either holding your breath or there's some rough edges, maybe the breath has become more rapid than usual. In any of those cases, take up the next few seconds to a minute to deepen and slow your breath, just evening out all of those rough edges. This will help to send an immediate signal to your nervous system and to your body and mind to calm and relax. Be sure to spend more time in nature and get enough sleep, especially when under stress. If you notice that you're not getting enough sleep and that's leading to more stress or higher anxiety levels, drink a little chamomile tea before bed or smell some lavender essential oil. And make sure to check out my video coming out soon on how to deal with the effects of anxiety. So now you know a few ways to deal with the effects of stress through herbal medicine and breathing exercises. Let me know in the comments below what you do to deal with the effects of stress in your own life and uh, let me know if you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and get over to jenniferray.com to sign up for my mailing list and if you do I promise to keep providing you powerful information that inspires you to reconnect with how deeply capable you are of finding your true health potential. See you next time on Wellness Wednesday.